Well, we're back in the garage today, and uh, that, uh, those of you that saw the video before the fishing video where I made the uh, shovel bird, and I called him Scrappy, and uh, it was made to be an egret, and I notched the neck and bent it and, and stuff like that. Uh, that was a pretty popular uh, project. Well, I mean, by popular, I mean, Brenda kind of liked it. So she's got it out in the yard and she's she's proud of it. She goes out and moves it every once in a while so the neighbors will think it's walking around on its own. But uh, that convinced my uh, daughter Brandy that uh, she would like to have a flamingo built on a similar fashion. And uh, I was thinking about building her one and while I was thinking about it, I guess I thought a little bit too loud and Brenda heard me and she said, you know, Bob, I've always wanted a flamingo. So now I've got two flamingos in mind and I don't know where to go with it, but I've already gone through my junk pile and here's what's happening. First of all, I got two more brake discs from my son, Matthew. He loaded up my truck the other day when I stopped by his house, he gave me a whole pile of them. And so I've got those brake discs, rotors, brake rotors. They, they'll be heavy for the base, like the base on the, on Scrappy was. And then I got to looking around and I had a couple more shovels. These shovels were littler, and but they had a, a funny cut on the end of them. They were shingle shovels to remove the shovels, to, to remove shingles with off of a roof. And so I took them, got to looking at them, and I thought, well, if I'd put them together, they'd look like wings, and that would be a good body for a flamingo. So I cut the, the handle part off, and I welded them together, and I got up the body of my flamingo. You can see this is two, two shovels. This was where the handles were. They were made to take shingles off the roof. But I just welded them together in the back to back and now I've got the body for one flamingo. Now the neck of a flamingo has that big curve comes up and then it curves back over and bends over and then there's a beak on the end of it. Well, I didn't know how to make all those curves very well. I didn't, if I had a big enough piece of pipe to look right for the neck, I couldn't bend it. And I and the, the neck on Scrappy, I cut it, oh, I did, did what you call a V-notch and I cut a notch in it with the angle grinder and then I bent it and welded it back together. It looks a little bumpy. I don't like the curve on it. But I got into my junk pile and I looked and my neighbor Bill Friend had thrown away his hose reel. He had a great big hose reel. And uh, it, well, here's the end of it right here. Looks like a big steering wheel. Hey, that'd be pretty neat. <laughs> uh, so what I did was I thought, well, that curve might make a good uh, flamingo neck. So I cut it in half. I cut these pieces off of it, cut it in half and got a curve like this. There's a half circle. It's not looking like a flamingo yet, is it? So then I thought, after I looked at it some more, I cut that part in half. So I wound up with this part of the neck will come off the body and then this part of the neck will reverse the curve like that. Now, how's that? What do you think of that for the flamingo? Pretty long neck bird. I may have to trim this down a little shorter to make him look right, but that's the curves. I got the curves for the neck. All I got to do is weld that together in the middle, weld that onto the body. You got it coming along. But the beak, I looked at a lot of pictures on, on the internet, and the beak on that flamingo is kind of all just runs out of his head. There's a bump for his head, and then it gets smaller, and then it turns a sharp turn down, and a little pointed beak on the end of it. I didn't know how to do that, but then I found the junk. I looked in here, and I, I just cut these handles off the shovel where the handle goes in. I thought, well, that'll work. So I put that out there, that's his head. Then I cut this in half here and bent it down, welded it back together. And then for the very beak, I found this is a, uh, a it's not a 90 degree, it's a, it's a half, it's a 45 degree pipe uh, elbow, 45 degree elbow. And then there's a little nipple in here, so it looks like he's beak. So then what, there I've got his head and his beak made out of that piece for the shovel handle to go in. If I had his neck here, 
that will go on there like that. And boy, doesn't that look like a flamingo. Now I need some eyes. And, and again, for the eyes, I've still got these pipe caps that I can weld on the side back here like this for these eyes and paint them a contrasting color so they'll show up. I might use a big round washer. If I had more, I'd just use these big nuts, but uh, these nuts are gonna be their knee joints on the, on the, uh, on its legs. So I've got two heads made. This one's gonna be a little more bent than the other one. I got carried away on my bending and I was really just kind of doing it by guessing. So I got that bent and all that welded back together. This has got a, a, a 45 degree street L is what it's called. That's a street L. It's got, doesn't have a nipple on it. It's all one piece. Oh, well, that's more than you wanted to know about that probably. And then of course for the legs, I've got more rebar. So I'll put this together. Now the, the way I see it, the flamingo has one leg that's bent up and the other leg straight down. Now you're always just standing on one leg. So I'll have this one kind of bent with a, with a knee joint in it and have it put together like that. Uh, one other thing, oh, the other flamingo. Where am I gonna get the body for the other flamingo? I've already used both of my shovels. Well, as luck would have it, that, that hose reel had a cylinder in the middle of it. So this is gonna be a long body flamingo, I think. It's gonna be right here. That's gonna be its body. Legs on it here, neck coming out here, up and around. What do we need? Tail feathers. Gotta have some tail feathers. I got two different ones. One of them is gonna be a fancy tail feather. This old garden rake I found. Flower rake, we'll weld that on the end of it there. You'll have some tail feathers sticking out. Maybe stick them out here. Oh yeah, right there, that's where they go. And the other one's not gonna be quite as fancy. He's gonna have a little hole for the tail feathers. Now, I don't know, that didn't sound right probably. One of them's gonna be a hoe. I, I don't know whether what sex they will be. I, I'm looking for names, I'm thinking of names. I, I'm, I'm gonna just let the girls name them, but uh, right now I was thinking Rusty for one of the shovel ones maybe. And uh, I don't know what the other one would be. I had a good name, but now that I got to talking to you, I forget it. So that's where we are on the Flamingo Project. I'll do a little more welding this afternoon and a little more cutting and scratching and putting together and uh, I'll make a little bit more on the video to show you what I've, progress I've made. Well, there's a little bit of paint on uh, one flamingo. I don't know, that's the one made out of the uh, two shingle shovels for its uh, body. Got a hole for a tail, standing on a brake drum. Two black eyes and a black beak on the uh, top of his head. We'll see how the other one turns out. I set these here in front of the uh, porch of the house. I'm sure this is not going to be their final resting place. I plan to give one of these to uh, Brandy and Brenda will have their choice of the, which one she wants to keep. She may decide she wants to keep them both. And I don't know. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna be the one that passes them out. They're gonna be the girls will choose what happens to them with Brenda making the first decision. Well, there's number two. I got his neck facing sideways. I like it. Brenda likes that one, I think, pretty well. Got the other one over there. That's the first one we made. I think I'll turn him around facing the other one. I don't know. Let me back up so you can get a view of both of them. There they are. The finished product, two flamingos. I think that's gonna end my bird uh, collection for a while. We'll wait and see what inspires me next. <laughs> well, we're gonna end this one with uh, a little talk about how pretty it is out here tonight. It's summertime, and the birds are chirping, and it's been a really nice day. It's hot. I got, I sweat just a little bit today. I gotta watch that. Can't have that happen. Brenda's got the yard mowed. 
looks nice and she's got some flowers growing in the back of the house there it's a it's a really nice evening i'm out of uh, energy i wish i had a little more i'd uh, clean the old orange truck up and we'd go down to the dog and suds to watch all the old cars and show it off and just have a little bit of show and shine going on down there tonight uh the uh, message from god is that we should have one god and no other one some of us these days seem to have other gods in mind whether it's wealth good looks style power we got a lot of people in this country today that worship power more than anything but we should not have these above we should not make these gods in our life there's only one that we should have, the Lord God, Jesus Christ, the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit are the only ones that we should have. And it, sometimes it's a big job to, get a, to, to keep that going, to realize that, because he gave us free will. And we have the decision to make as to whether we want to go after greed, power, deceit, lies, follow Satan, or whether we want to follow God. I'd like to give my talents over to following God. Everything that I do, I hope that it's to make His kingdom on earth as it is in heaven. Thank you for watching. Jesus loves you. God be with you. God bless you. Good night.